Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It has reached at a point where Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni is now being pressured to intervene as Raila protests spill over to Uganda. According to leaders allied to the Opposition Forum for Democratic Change, FDC, in Uganda, has come out to urge the President Yoweri Museveni to intervene after protests in Kenya on Monday, March 20th. As mass action is likely to be experienced for the next Monday and Thursday next week, leaders have come out to riot when it comes to the mass action that is affecting the Ugandan economy if, they if this mass action is going to continue. So this statement, when I saw it, I realized that parties that are involving, now pressuring Yoweri Museveni to intervene in between the opposition and the government of the Republic of Kenya is like there are certain individuals that are now trying to be as if this group, so-called Opposition Forum for Democratic Change that is in Uganda, to come out to urge, uh, urge their president, Museveni, to intervene the protest and mass action in the Republic of Kenya. This is whatever they say. We interest the government of Uganda to think about the situation in Kenya more seriously. They should not take it for granted because it has a lot of effect on our economy, uh, they said. The protest led by Raila Odinga um, so traders kept uh, keep off the Kenya-Uganda route for fear of being attacked. That they, whatever is happening. So the, the, the reclamation of peace in border where between Busia and uh, Uganda is that they're claiming that the leader suggested that Uganda should look for a way to ensure the operation of business that is happening in the border of Uganda and Kenya, Busia, must be carefully intervened or else things are not going to be good. And they say, we ask the public to be mindful of careless spending because if Kenya descends into serious protests, businesses across borders may cause price of goods and services to rise in Uganda. So it means that now we are being told that we as Kenyans is like we are carrying the economy of Uganda, which it is just a propaganda of certain individuals in Kenya Kwanzaa to use this group called the Opposition Forum for Democratic Change in Uganda to come out and to force Museveni to come as a mediator between William Ruto and uh, Railo Udinga. As uh, far as we are concerned, even despite of them not understanding why Kenyans are having mass action, is that now Kenya Kwanzaa is trying to involve a country that is independent? Yes, they might be affected when it comes to trade between Kenya and Uganda. In any case, the mass action is going to be little to the government of the day. And of course, we do understand that Kenya and Uganda enjoy cordial ties and heavily depend on each other economically. That's the truth. Kenyan's export to Uganda, uh, Kenyan uh, export to Uganda was about 108.4 billion in 2021, according to the United Nations Comrade. But one thing that is bringing this issue is that Raila Odinga, after coming out 
to give a clear clarification on what is going to happen ahead as days are unfolding. They thought and they realized that mass action was going to be once and that is why this regime used excessive police force toward dispersing people so that it can be seen like as a mere mass action failed. I've seen their leader saying that mass action was not successful, people were peaceful, I don't know in which, in which country, but yes, some parts were so peaceful, some country, counties. But in real sense, when Nairobi is not peaceful, Kenyans are losing big. Because Kenya, uh, Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya. The operation of so many businesses are being experienced in Nairobi. So if people of Kenya Kwanzaa are celebrating that Murana Onyeri was peaceful, Nakuru was peaceful, Wasingishu was peaceful, but in any case mass action is going to affect Nairobi, then all counties are going to be affected. With your notice is that counties have not come out to receive their budget allocation. The question that we are asking now is it the mass action that is hindering the government of the day to disburse the resources that was set to these um, counties? Now, to see them going against what is expected in the constitution, for them, they have money to spend, they have money to get out on whatever they want, but in real sense, Things are not all right. That is why you see counties, some staff that are working in different counties, they have not been paid their salaries since last year. They're just working. That is what we have been told. So the truth and bitter truth is truly the mass action that Raila Odinga again today has come out to clarify on mass action that is going to happen on Monday and Thursday must make these countries that is working with Kenya or having a trade tie to be in a panic mode. Because when you look at the business that is happening in border between Kenya and Uganda, it's a very serious business that is yielding a strong and supportive economy to both Uganda and Kenya. So when you see them coming out to complain, it is a true indication that things are not right. So for them is that as long as their voice is going to be heard, is there any possibility of your way serving the president of Uganda coming out to request his counterpart government president, William Ruto, to have a talk with Raila Odinga? And is there any possibility of um, Raila Odinga accepting the call of Museveni for a talk bit, uh, a call of Museveni to Raila to have a talk with William Ruto? Is there any possibility? I don't know. But as times is going to unfold itself, we are going to see, or we are going to see, the next mass action on Monday. And we are going to see and try to analyze the mass action of Thursday so that we can understand what next and what is ahead of us that we are ready to combat with. But again, despite of them coming out to celebrate, that they came out thwarting this, uh, the, the mass action of Azimio, I don't know how they will cope up with the, now is likely and there's a possibility of mass action being every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But for now, they are having Monday and Thursday. It's like the barazas that they were having on, uh, they were having barazas on Fridays, on Saturdays. Then they came in now having barazas and rallies every day. Now, it is like they are now evacuating, evacuating from the barazas and, and rallies. They are now coming back to um, mass action. That is going to be Monday, Thursday. Then if they will see like the government is, to, is still not responding to their issues, then they will move it from Monday, maybe Wednesday and Thursday. Or Monday, maybe Wednesday and Saturday. Then after all, if any case again, the government will not respond, they will go it whole week. 
Ladies and gentlemen, what are those? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Do you support Museveni to come and intervene in between the mass action that is happening in the Republic of Kenya? Because they're claiming they're being affected business-wise. Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Till we meet on another video.